Walking into bushes is like a learning AI. If he gets hit once, he's not gonna get hit again. Welcome back everybody, today's episode is all about 4D level chess predictions. Now let's hop right back in with Tremor Sen hitting Camille with the hardest read encounter. Okay, I'm gonna steal Nash and we do Drake. I just need to calculate well. Because Jin didn't go there. Jin went there. Oh! And calculate well Hans does. This dude so casually knows the enemy's Baron DPS with and without Jin. And speaking of calculations, check out this angle. Akali's ult range is way farther than Flash, and I cannot believe he just read her like that. It's time for the Baron Dance, and the support gap is massive. Watch how Aqua Prison single-handedly wins this fight for her team. Next up, I seriously don't get how Briz does it. He's not even channeling Flash inside the bush here. Come fai a sbagliare? Lascia questa, io cani. But the sun never rose. Down, down, down.
Oh, baby. Oh. Don't ping him. There's no point in being here. L look at this predict, though. Look at this predict. Look at this predict. Look at this. Look at this predict. Oh my god! He got the steal off too? Okay, next up, there's a Rengar here, and he shows for about half a second. Try and keep an eye on him. That for Kazi is you kind of have to flash as soon as you see the quickness. You can't really react to uh, the quickness W. It's that short range as Canyon looks for a fight down towards this bottom lane. Dragon's Rage on Elio. He's going to try and trade this one back. There's oh! incredible predictions from Bevel. That's the reason he's one of the best in the world. And now Kazi underneath the tower. The Moonlight Vigil will not save you now. Two quick kills, the damn one. Okay. This mechanic is low-key so cool, and all I'm saying is Peloto has a massive brain on him. Okay. Release. Whoa. Yeah, recalling during Rizal is kind of like a mini messiah. Whirlib and Senna are on the run behind enemy lines. He spots the Teemo and Co. sprinting on the map coming for him and calculates their speeds with amazing accuracy. Ela, 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 Tix.
I'd be gloating on reading Showmaker like a book for days. Next up, we got Joey on Earth Morgana. Versus these champions, you gotta be thinking like six steps ahead. How we do they? Chasing. How do they die top? Die top. Like Wukong was trying to solo Baron and Zerg ulted him. And I'm exhausted. Dang, Lux covered that choke point perfectly. Next up, this is Psychological Warfare. I think Ari knew that was boarded, and Varus knew she knew, and she knew that Varus knew that she knew. Okay, you get the idea. Next up, there's a LeBlanc lurking in the shadows, but she does not wait for her bot wave to crash, and she's gonna feel Nenez's wrath for that. Still going to be a kill. Tina's gonna find that kill. Predicting the E and last breath and a final breath for the Ezreal. The roll, so. EDG has no vision of Dom1 here until Viper hits this plant. Scout is so quick on the trigger. Yeah, this could be the pick off. The minion wave turns up in the nick of time, but Ghost could be the one to go down, and he absolutely is. The Heartbreaker comes in, but now JJ in a bit of trouble. He just gets himself Ooh. over the wall. Canyon explodes as well as Nami is turned into a fish finger. Show me. 30 seconds before the What the f okay. Oh. 
Neutralizado. This is like the trolliest Blitzcrank skin I've ever seen. Also, this ARM comp is absolutely disgusting. Like, how are you supposed to tell when he's about to hook? Là c'est fait, bon ça sera... Oh le flash Faut... Silona, Silona, est-ce qu'il peut jump Bien joué Et là par contre la rotation de CC... Oh là là, Léona Ah non mais Léona qui est très très bien Mais on a cassé la tirée à l'autre lado Thank you all so much for watching. That is going to do it for today's episode all on predictions. Remember to leave a like if you did enjoy and subscribe if you do want to see some more. Until next time, take care, stay safe, and have a wonderful day.